so delicious It's Vancouver Island's Pizza Reviews Hey everyone, it's Clint from Vancouver Island Pizza Reviews. We're here today at uh, El Greco, uh, 2900 Gorge Road uh, West. It's right at the intersection of Gorge and Tilica. So I'm gonna yell a little bit because there's like a million cars on the road here. Um, so this is, uh, this is El Greco 2.0, 2021 review. It's really, really good pizza. Um, I'm just gonna say right away, all of the like Greek pizzas in town, I kind of, I kind of um, rate them very similar, like uh, kind of like how Portnoy does his uh, Neapolitans. So Greek style pizza is one of my favorites, but generally, you know, for me, a Greek style pizza is gonna always fall in around like uh, like kind of like the mid eights. So this is gonna be somewhere around there probably. I did have it before, obviously in 2020, so uh, we'll see. Looks really, really good. Um, Something also that I'm gonna start doing kind of new is uh, because I've done so many pizzas, I've realized that the uh, what they put underneath the pizza is really important. So a lot of places put like a piece of parchment paper, which is which is solid, which is the best way to go in my opinion. So like Maud, for example, uses a piece of parchment. Uh, it has like their ingredients on it. That's like the best one I've seen. Um, a lot of places I'm noticing don't use, even higher end places, don't use anything under the pizza. What happens is the cheese and whatnot ends up getting all stuck to the cardboard like the next day and it's terrible. So I'm gonna start calling places out that don't have anything underneath the pizza. Um, okay, so let's get a look at it here. Very expensive. They've got the little piece of paper so that, that works really well too. Um, I believe it, it's, it comes to like, it's like $27 after tax. So very, very expensive. Looks really nice, it's super heavy and it's good so uh, it's worth it for a splurge once in a while. Um, and also, I wanted to mention, sometimes you'll see like the, the sheet underneath the pizza that's like ribbed. It's like a white ribbed sheet. Those are terrible too. It literally just sticks to the bottom of the pizza. Throw those in the garbage. Okay, taste test. Really hope you guys can hear me because I might have to reshoot this one. There's so much traffic right now. Okay, taco grip. Definitely a little bit of grease to it, but that's kind of your standard Greek pizza. It's got a nice little flop there. Okay, taste test. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'll try and have them on the screen too in case I get it wrong, but I believe this one is uh, cheddar, mozzarella, Asiago, and some other cheese. I'll have them on the screen for you though. It's really, really good. Um, like I said, it's very similar to um, Odessia and Mad Greeks and Romeo's. It's really, really good though. For the price, kind of has to be. Okay, crust bite. Couldn't hear a lot of crisp on that, but as you can see, the edge does have a nice crisp to it. It's nice and brown. It's got a little bit of uh, like crispy cheese on the edge, which I love. It's a very solid pizza. You can't go wrong. Um, okay, rating time. I'm gonna rate this one uh, 8.7 out of 10. Very, very good pizza. Come and support them. Their pickup uh, is at the back here, so I've got a little video for you guys. There's a little alleyway you can go through to get to it. Okay, guys, on to the next one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching my review of El Greco's Cheese Pizza. Please subscribe on YouTube and hit that like button if you can. Cheers.